finish off these Marauders. It does look like the Broodlings are the ones that get the kills, too. Uh, but I have set Masses back a long way. She will have to get a replacement hatchery. Of course, it shouldn't be too much trouble because she has so many minerals. But uh, in terms of the income, she still has the lead in terms of Harvesters. But... Really, that's because she was completely oversaturated at her main base and had nothing at her expansion. I believe there are only two drones there. By expansion is up, instantly going into a normal command, and it looks like I'm going to be going in for a follow-up attack. And it's really late for that, you know? I've I've got a factory up. Um, doesn't look like I'm producing any sort of of siege tanks or medevacs or anything like that. None of them are out on the field. Just 13 marines and 2 marauders. Or, sorry, 10 marauders. Uh, 2 would be quite silly. Um, couple mutas out. 3 mutas. Like I said, she just doesn't have enough gas for a mass of mutas right now. So I'm going in and I'm... I, I can't believe my eyes here. There's, there's nothing here. Um, I... Do keep the Marines behind the Marauders, uh, probably just by accident once again, going for the Queen immediately. Uh, queen goes down, and really there's there's nothing left, just this massive pile of drones, and they should be able to finish off these Marauders actually, uh, but not before suffering heavy casualties, and yeah, there goes every last one of my Marauders, but... It stopped all that mining. I'm able to take the lead in the harvester count. Her expansion is up in one of the other um, starting locations. So it's a good expansion, but really it's very weak. And if I spot it, it will die almost immediately. I do have quite of an excess in terms of minerals uh, because I'm starting uh, to get uh, the tech upgrades and I don't have any uh, gas at my expansion but really I have to know that I am far ahead in this game uh, but because of my excess minerals I do go for the for the missile turrets around um, my main base in case uh, there were mutas that I missed who knows with a zerg player they could have two or three other base and you would never know especially when you get in there and start wiping out their main base I had to assume that the pa that the that my opponent had other bases that I didn't know about and there was one down here there's a second one coming up here a uh, second expansion on the way here I I'm not sure why here why not here um, just random playing from this Zerg player and I don't know what to think of it Z uh, here we go. Muta's coming for a harass, but missile turrets are already up. So looking at the army count, I do have a commanding lead, I'm going to say. Even though, now there we go, now I definitely have a commanding lead in the army count. Uh, not a commanding lead in the units lost, but um, I do have the lead there as well. I've also spent more on army. I'm also moving out. Uh, with a small force here, no siege tanks. And the Zerg player playing a little smart with their mutalists. I, I do admire that uh, because mutas so often will just go for the mineral line and then once they see that missile turrets are up there, they'll just run away, not realizing that there's plenty of room to get around here uh, without... Um, any missile turrets, any anti-air. But meanwhile, I did push in, and I will be able to clean this up way before the mutas are able to clean up my base. Um, mutas don't do a lot of damage to buildings, whereas marauders do. In comes um, the marines. I do send the the, mar the marauders and the siege tanks in, really just in case the, the mutas wanted to, to start... Uh, attacking that they had something else to attack besides the marines um, but uh, it was enough to scare the mutas off once they took out one of my barracks seeing those drones uh, made me realize that there was another 
hatchery. There are actually two hatcheries in the back of the map. Um, massive amount of spine crawlers coming up. Spawning pool on the way as well. And now I am purely going for tech here. I want that spire down. I want the baneling nest down. If um, there's there isn't another one, I want that uh, spawning pool down. But of course, there is another one out just now. Ba a spire on the way uh, because this is doesn't a spire require a lair? And here I go, drop a scan see all those spine crawlers along with the expansions uh, don't think I see the spire um, but that is enough for me to move out because I did see that there weren't any units there um, take out that last drone there I don't want it to uh, make a new base here so I keep a couple um, couple units at the expansion just to make sure nothing will go on there but I already have a huge lead in the units lost count uh, still have a huge lead in the income in the spending in the army this game is mine for the taking and my minerals and gas show that I thought the game was over O-V-A-H it's over so I'm going in taking out the spine crawlers they shouldn't be too much of a problem because of all those marauders they do bonus damage I believe double damage double damage to armored um, so the the spine crawlers aren't that big of a problem and masses is forced to GG and that's the game so I would love to say that this game was one and uh, really I, I wanted to show this because I wanted to show that it was possible to beat a Zerg on this map but really it was because I wasn't facing the best Zerg out there uh, as I watched the replay but uh, a couple interesting strategies um, the bunker I thought was a great placement even though it never came in got into effect great usage of 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 the mutas i must say um being able to take out one barracks uh, she could have easily focused down the marines and taken out the other barracks um but she, the, the, she did not and the game was pretty much over by then anyways i do have a couple vikings out to counter anything else on the, any other um, mutas that might be on the way got missile turrets up in the back of my expansion getting an armory so I can get Thors I was really focused on the the anti-air um, because that was all that I saw that she had left and in fact uh, that pretty much is all she had left two zerglings um, I believe one at each Zalnaga tower and then four mutas all there they were able to get a couple kills one kill um, Meanwhile, my guys are racking up the kills. Uh, that one guy had 10. That's insane. Um, yeah, everybody here has over 5. This guy has 11. He is a sergeant, um, but he's almost dead as well. Uh, so that was the game. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you laughed. hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Bye.